oh hey, um, guess who moved house again, which is why I have different bookshelves and I just spilt tea all over my leg. So today's not my day. As I was saying, I moved house again since I last made a video. Actually, I've moved house twice since then. I live in hell. That is why I only have a small selection of books behind me and the rest of the shelf is empty because my books have not moved house yet. Soon, I hope. However, to add to my shelves, I got a very exciting box today. I'm pretty sure this is my finished copies, but I also did start filming this video three days ago and then it turned out the parcel was not my finished copies. So possibly this is about to be another massive anti-climax. Shall we have a look? No, this one's the finished copies. That's good. That was really embarrassing. Here she is. I am most excited about the spine, to be honest. Um, because it's colourful, but also the title is kind of shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Shiny title. Um, and then we have this sort of matte background with the graffiti vibes. So for those who have somehow missed the news, The Butterfly Assassin is my debut novel. It comes out in less than a month from today on the 26th of May. It is a YA thriller about a traumatised teenage assassin who is trying and failing to live a normal life in a fictional closed city in Yorkshire. This closed city, called Espera, is run by two guilds of assassins who developed out of scientific and intelligence research divisions during the First World War. And Isabel was raised by one of them, but is now trying to go her own way. But unfortunately her idea of problem solving is to kill people, so that goes about as well as you would expect. We have um, a lovely page of quotes from people who've been very nice about the book here. We have a... oh my god, okay, sorry, this is the first time I've seen the map properly. We have a map of the city. Okay, yeah, that's quite cool. Have like funky paint splatter slash blood splatter multi-purpose splatter on each chapter. Like it's, it's meant to be paint but it has blood-like connotations which are very appropriate for the book. So that is what's in my magic box today. You can pre-order now. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube the links will be on the description. If you're watching this elsewhere the links will be elsewhere. Uh, on Twitter they're probably up there. On Instagram they're in my bio. Basically just uh, go to finlongman.com slash books and you will find all the pre-order links your heart could desire and also all the content warnings and other info that you might need because this is quite a dark book. Although, having said that, there is a content warning on the copyright page. It is quite small. Um, I was hoping it would be more obvious than that, but they are there in the book itself. So, I warned ya. Cool. Oh, and other bits of news, I'm going to be appearing at the Dublin International Literature Festival at the end of May. Um, link again in the description or elsewhere. And I am going to be at YALC, the Young Adult Literature Convention in London in July on a panel called Protect and Survive um, about like dark and dystopian YA. So if you're in London or within reach of London, you can come and see me there. And I will be doing some kind of signing as well. And it's all getting very close now. So, that's it. The Butterfly Assassin. I'm gonna go deal with this tea that I spilled down my trousers and try not to spill it on the books. <laughs>